guys, it's Julie from Plan to Create, and I am preparing to plan for my next week. And I thought I would just bring you guys along. This is super informal, and it's going to be a little bit sporadic. I don't have like a very set pattern in how I do this per se, but I just thought I would bring you along. So thanks for joining me. But first things first, I will mention that in my last video, I showed how I de-ringed my GM agenda. So that's the first thing you kind of can see here is that I have my Hobonichi in the cover, which it has not been up until this point. I'm going to remove it right now just for the sake of planning. I think it'll be easier, but I will keep these close because these are things that I use throughout the week often. I did keep it in its plastic cover and I have a piece of paper from the stamp market kind of slid in there. This is kind of wrapping up week number 45 in my planner and I'm going to go ahead and you can see that I have already started to write some things down and that's basically the beauty of this planner to me. This is one of the first times that I've felt safe in doing that. And part of that, as I explained in my last video, is because I've sectioned out my planner pretty structurally so that I know exactly what I'm saving room for and what I want to place in certain spots. So you're going to kind of see I've come through and I already like put my workout schedule there. I add things to these lists. I kind of have to look back and remind myself like where I start that list at the 22nd hour is pretty much the spot. And then I did come through and start to write in the headers here, but I stopped because I thought, oh, I can save that kind of for you guys to see how I do that. And explain also that like I'm trying to alternate between stickers one week and handwriting um, for one or two weeks just to kind of try to refrain from that huge buildup in stickers and I have it right here. If you use this planner, you kind of know what I'm talking about. If you use stickers in the same spot week after week, it does build a little bit of a ledge. I'm trying to combat that, but also, you know, only a few weeks left here. So it's not the end of the world if I have a little bit of a ledge. I'm going to come through and I'll show you kind of the materials that I'm going to be using throughout this week. For the month of November, I have set out some stickers that I just want to focus on. So I'm using this brown sugar collection from Sweet Caress Designs. Just this beautiful mix of colors that she created and I'm just going to like, yeah, those are beautiful. They look very November-y to me and they work really well with this November kit from the Planner Spot that I purchased. I'm a member of her um, subscription club so I get one of these each month. And so I'm working those in and just kind of like combining those and then as needed I just fill in with other stickers from my stash that I keep here in this sticker book. So I have that laying here, I have my tweezers and scissors and some washi. So one of the first things that I will do this week is to come through and I have already started these sections but I'm going to actually use this darker Tombow. It's in 79 and I come through and I don't use a ruler or anything. I'm pretty pretty loosey goose with this. I do definitely refer back to my previous pages just to make sure I'm kind of keeping things in the general area. And then I come through and I typically don't go all the way from edge to edge. I just kind of like to do a little line through the one, two, three, five, like middle lines. If you've had a chance to watch my video, um, the previous one, it does go through and explain a lot of, you know, what I'm doing in each of these sections. You're going to hear a little bit of repetition today as I put this together. The next break I usually have is for my meal plan, but I used this stamp last week and you can see that it shows through a tiny bit. So, you know, that is one of the trade-offs when you're using stamping and ink, but I'll, because that's there, I probably will go ahead and just continue that because it won't notice it as much once I stamp over these. It's pretty much the similar shape, it's just, you know, reversed. So I will continue with that. And then when I do my own lists down here, I like to come through and just basically draw the line, and I actually need to write those first before I continue that. Hold on. And because I'm on camera, I'm definitely going to refer back to make sure I'm getting the right thing in the right spot, because my brain is going to want to freeze up really quick here. If I'm able, I like write one letter per square, but sometimes I don't have room to fully do that. That's fine. I'm kind of writing in the middle of line 21 there. Projects and incoming. Okay. And then this one, I'm just going to actually write mail because that's like what I'm basically tracking here. I say incoming or mail. The reason why I have these lists and why they're working well for me is that when I just have a list titled totally just to do, it doesn't really trigger thoughts from my brain and I end up just kind of like staring at it blankly. So by having like very specific lists, like what do we need from the grocery store? What do I need to get done at home? What errands do I need to run? What do I need to buy this week? Are there ideas that I want to share on social media? To do, that's my general list. That's kind of my catch-all. Like it doesn't fill in the other categories so I can place it here. 
projects is like do we have something kind of ongoing or more than just like a one quick one step thing and then mail like I said it's just packages coming in this is where I track whether I have done my outfit of the day I do not write the outfit that I'm wearing in here I have an app for that that tracks it on my phone I can refer to that and see the actual pictures so that's much more interesting to me than writing down like jeans t-shirt and then I finally have an area where I track any like kind of abnormal spending. If it's just a bill or something, unless I need to be reminded to auto pay it, I mean that's a good spot for me to write these down when I have a bill due just to make sure I watched for it to come through our transactions. But um, also it's just really meant for me, like I explained in my last video, like if I make a purchase, particularly if I'm using PayPal to pay for it, it really helps if I write it down because then when I go to like reconcile my bank account, I can actually see what the purchase was, was for and then I can categorize it in our budgeting software. So that's why I'm doing that. And um, this I'm kind of starting to divvy out into like, what do I need from Albertsons? What do I need from Costco? I avoid Costco like the plague. <laughs> so you're gonna see my Costco list. It's gonna transfer from week to week if you ever notice that. And something I'll just mention here, this is a sticky, um, clear sticky note, square. Um, this is from Cloth and Paper. I think it's the Prosecco color. And then I used a sticker from Paper Planning. It just says work. And so I know I wanted to film on Wednesdays and so I've kind of chalked out that time here, but I love the fact that it's pretty flexible. If something were to come up, I could move it to a new day. I just know that like I have some work to get done, so that's what I'm going to use for that. And this is just a note to myself to consider trying out, like breaking out my block of time that I've used here. This is kind of my daylight hours. And considering blocking this time out a little bit more the way the planner spot does. So she blocks out basically her, you know, breakfast, snack, and dinner. And then she kind of coordinates the blocks of time between there. Like, what is she going to get done before that, after that? I really like that idea. I don't know if it's going to fully execute right here on this because I haven't given it a ton of time. But I'm going to do my best today. And I've also up there added a YouTube video sticker because I do have a video scheduled for Friday. I'm trying to do that for every Friday. So, you know, work in progress here, but I'm at least committing to a sticker up there to kind of say, hey, what have you got planned? That visual reminds me like, okay, what do I need to do in order to get that up there? So I've gotten all my lines to kind of divide my sections. The last section that I will add is my meal planning here. I'm going to grab my pencil board. I like to stick that under here just to kind of help smooth out any surfaces below. And then I'm going to come through and I shared it in my last video, but I basically took this and I stamped it onto some scratch paper just to kind of get it a little bit less inky. And I'm actually gonna do that again real quick. I'll show you here on camera. I'm grabbing this. I just am working on a custom order for Karen. And I, oh yeah, see, like lots of juice on that. And that's, this side is getting a little bit better. But I know that this seems really crazy, you guys, and if you stamp for cards or something else, you're like, oh my gosh, like the inkier the better. But for me, I find like that's just too much ink. It's going to come through on this Hobonichi page. So now, maybe when I do these guys, and see this side, I don't know if you can tell, but that's a little bit darker over there. So I am coming over here to my lightest side of the ink pad. I should probably do a quick, I do have a little spare piece of paper here. Yeah, that's going to be perfect, you guys. It's going to show up, but it's not going to be super dark. Okay, so now I'm just going to come through and I'm trying to line these guys up as closely as I can with the previous ones that have already shadowed. Doing my best. Trying not to stick my head in the camera so that actually is a little bit wonky. And then this side I don't have to worry as much about the pencil board because there's nothing back here. I don't do a ton of thickness with my dailies so... Oh, wow. <laughs> It's really hard to not stamp like with my head over with like this. I'm trying really hard not to do that for you guys. Okay, so that's easy peasy. Normally I would use like a baby wipe or something, but here I'm just gonna kind of stamp this off and get that ink off. That's considered clean to me-ish and I can worry about that later. Okay, so that is the structure built for Oh, nope, I'm gonna do my washi too, guys. Uh, that helps me kind of have a section. It kind of divides that up. So I usually just do starting at 5 a.m. I'm gonna move this in a little bit so I can get a better angle. This washi is from the Planner Aesthetic. I wonder if she still has some available because I think I need another roll. It's just so basic and great. Isn't that so sad? I love this little ruler. I don't know how I snapped it, but got a little aggressive with my washi tape, I guess. Okay, so now, like, look at how much, like, that just, like, really brings this page to more life, doesn't it? 
I think it does. I'm still working on some of the structure for the week. I mentioned before that I don't like to add my, my sidebar stickers until Sunday is pretty much done. So it's time, it's Sunday, and I can go ahead and do that. And I'm just picking one of each of these cute little stickers and throwing them down, and I don't even necessarily have them in a particular order, but maybe this week I'll put them in the order in which they come. Just try to like get them relatively spaced out. That would be a really good idea to like see how far apart she spaced hers. It's too late now. <laughs> uh, okay, I want to move that over a little bit. Those are absolutely unnecessary to the like actual planning of your life, but I do feel like that just is a nice little reminder sometimes as I'm going to select colors. It's like, oh, have I done anything in that dark color yet? Have I done anything in the light? So those are just a visual reminder to me. And I just keep looking back because I have take, take, I've like put things in different places. Um, this is another option. I could have done a calendar up top, but I am kind of liking the dots under the November and then a full box sticker. So now I'm going to grab my full box sticker sheets from the planner spot. So it's not Thanksgiving week. I would probably save that for, is it next week? Yikes. But I think I'll try these books. And the whole thing on this is to try to lay this down as straight as possible and still cover all the parts of that calendar. And look, those are not like perfectly aligned. Maybe next week I'll start with the full box and then do my circles. But honestly, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm being picky because I'm on camera. Next thing up is going to be a spot where I place my week number. And I'm kind of obsessed with these in my, my tweezers. Someone asked me where I got these. Um, these are literally like my son purchased a fix his phone iPhone kit and these came with it. And once he was done, I just asked him if I could have them. So these are great. The only thing I would say is that they kind of blend in too much with my other, the Tombos and everything else black. So I'd like a pair that are like a different color, maybe. Let's put that on my Christmas shopping list. It's good. It would be a good stocking stuffer. Okay, next would be the calendar. And I'm not sure if the planner spot is going to, she said that maybe she'll do these as printables next year. I'm gonna maybe have to beg her because I sold my silhouette. I am no longer going to be cutting my own stickers, which was a big bold move, but I just don't have room to store it here in our condo. So that was one of the things that did not make the cut. Um, we're looking here for a November. I purchased one, two, three, I guess four of these. I thought I got five so that I could do one every week. Oh man, this is my last week. And I have one more left. So I like to do one on the monthly and then one on each week. So I guess I should have purchased five of these. So you have four weeks plus a month but I do like those. So if you guys like these too, I've gotten a lot of questions about these on Instagram. Let the planner spot know that you like them and maybe she would bring them to us in sticker form. The thing about it is that there's a grid there, so you would think that I could lay these perfectly. You know what, again, like if I could stick my head over that, it would be easier, but I'm still just like, the struggle is real. I don't lay things down straight, ever. Last thing I usually add is a sticker to put my inbox, and I'm trying to use up these cute little guys. I like to use one of the ones with like a sticker or something, and it, look at how it's perfectly covering that little shadow from my dinner plate stamp from the previous week, making me happy that that's not poking through. And you can see I've used a lot of these, so I also go back and look through all of my old kits of hers, because I have others, and that's fun too. I'm able to go back and mix and match and use. A lot of her stickers are not, like her kits are not so, specific each month that, I mean, they just play really nicely with each other. Some things are kind of summer themed or spring themed and not appropriate, but for the most part, okay, and that's something else I should explain. I do go up into the calendar to bit here because I don't have room for this big whole sticker. So I just overlap, oops, the calendar a tiny bit. This paper is relatively forgiving. It has that kind of, not waxy, but almost waxy feel to it. Waxy, I don't know if that's the right word. I'm doing this close to me guys hang on okay so that's on and I usually hand write like inbox kind of just try to space it off be kind of in the middle I already did not I find that the more I try to write nice like literally the worse I write anyone else feel that way Ugh. the less I concentrate and I just scribble it out I think the better the other thing I usually do is write in the week number here and it's week 46 so I have these little just the number sets from studio l2e I love that you can layer the handwriting in and around, the stamping. That's probably one of my favorite things. I love layers, like I love fall for layers. I'm gonna give you a little close-up of that. 
Okay, the last thing I usually do is I come through and highlight the current week here on the little mini calendar. And I was gonna show you, because markers look differently, you know, on the sticker than they do on the Tomo pa River paper. So I just kind of was like, hmm, I'll just go directly onto some scratch space on her stickers and see. And I think I kind of like this 990. Come through, this is the 15th. And there we go. So on the chance that you have not seen my last video, I will just explain to you really quickly. These are, this area here is for day specific things, but that don't necessarily either have a time frame that I want to write them down in here, or just, you know, like birthdays or something like that. It's going to be basically the entire day is up here. Um, obviously washi. Then I have a tiny little space here to track my social media posts that I want to share. Then I have my workouts. Then I have like my day from morning to evening including dinner and then evening after dinner, there's space there. And then I have my topically but not day specific lists. Then I have my outfit of the day tracking. And finally I have some spending. So sometimes I will come through and add like a little dollar sign down here. Well, you know what? I'm gonna show you something else that I did. Okay, so I also have like this cute little circle stamp. It's tiny, it's one of my favorite things if you can find yourself a circle stamp. This basically is the equivalent of all the circle transparent stickers in the world. You could make them in any color that you have ink. But um, I just took that and I used, I believe, um, I did some in the sandcastle color and then I did some in a bashful, bashful ink. I think there's another color called ballerina that's similar but this is more like blushy than pink pink so I took that and I stamped onto her icons and I really like that because sometimes just the white icon to me on white paper it loses itself a little bit on my pages and so I thought I would show you guys that and I'll go ahead and throw this on here now so there that should be the structure for the day I really like that but now is the time where I need to basically come through and see like is there are there things that I need to migrate from last week that maybe didn't get done or that are still works in progress or that I could cross off because they did get done. There's that. So I will go ahead and get those things listed. At this point, I just pull out my phone and I consult our iCalendar because that's where I have done a lot of my pre-planning. Okay, four o'clock, I have a manicure, praise the Lord. I know, you guys, my nails are awful, and I'm terrible at cutting my own and shaping them. My daughter helped me a little bit a couple weeks ago, but I'm, I'm awful at it. So, getting a manicure in hopes of doing some more filming and being prepared for that. So Wednesday at four, what color? See, I think I'm not using enough of this brown one, so I wanna use that for this appointment. And this is kind of why I don't like to come through and add them until the time of, because I like to help it coordinate, and so I kind of need to wait for the week of. I'm coming through, I have all of my icon stickers here in my sticker book, so I can grab those quickly, the ones that I use most frequently. I have pink and white, and then I love to layer those like that. What you're gonna see here is like appointments that I'm putting on here that are like scheduled outside of my control. What I have in my iCal are all the things that are inside my control. So all the things that I wanna get done throughout the week that there's like content planning, all sorts of things that I'm doing, but it's also kind of flexible so I could shift them around. I don't wanna shift around in here. I wanna shift around on my iCalendar and then write it in here like as it was accomplished. Does that make sense? So yes, I'm pre-planning in this. Yes, I'm planning out my week, but I'm doing some of the work on my phone and it just makes me, it works for me. Like, I don't know how else to say it. Friday at noon, I have another appointment. I'll just use another one of these guys. That's the other thing that I'm, this has been really interesting for me to see, like when I have a certain amount of supplies set out for the month, it's like, which, what am I using? So like, for instance, she came out with the gingerbread kit, the sweet crust designs for like holiday. And I'm trying to like, see like, what of these things am I actually using? What am I not using as much of? So I definitely bought these because I'm using a ton of these. I think I got some of these, but I may not have gotten the larger dewdrops and circles because eh, I'm not using them as much. Uh, that's just kind of nice to evaluate what you actually use versus just what you think is cute. <laughs> and something else I like about her kits is that she has this variety of icons. So I'm gonna say that. I get um, regular cancer screens from the dermatologist. So I've already 
gone ahead and booked one down here. So I've had a lot of basal cell carcinoma in my life. My family is, it's genetic, like I, and also I have spent some time in the sun, so I have to go in almost, I think I was on a quarterly basis at my last doctor in Idaho, so I'm gonna establish a relationship with a dermatologist here in town and make sure I stay on top of that. I do not write my meals in now until after the fact. I shared that in my last video, so I do need to spend some time sitting down and planning out our meals this week. We have been doing food services like HelloFresh. First we did Green Chef, and my husband and I really liked that. Then we did HelloFresh when we moved here, and it was a disaster. Like, we had to pick Monday as a delivery day, and they were arriving on Thursday. There was a major breakdown because we live in a condo, they couldn't get into our building, then they'd have to deliver it the next day, then, then it just was like, ew, gross. Like, I don't want our food out there, just like extra days. So, bummer, because the HelloFresh meals that we have had are super good. It just was a total breakdown with like a local delivery issue. They didn't ship to us via UPS, which then could have had entrance into our mailroom, yada yada. So I'm not knocking on HelloFresh, but I am bummed because we're no longer doing that and it was so nice to have like X number of meals already figured out. So I'm kind of like starting all over from ground zero right now, like, oh, what, what recipes do we make? So. I'm gonna spend some time off camera figuring that out. Won't be boring you guys with that. And just know that they won't be showing up until like after we've eaten them anyway. So that's just kind of how I'm doing that in order to avoid a bunch of crossing out and exchanging. So the last thing that I mentioned is that I do wanna do some like kind of breaking up my week. I am still gonna be pretty loose with that. But basically I'm doing some intermittent fasting right now. So I'm not eating before 11, but I know that at 11 o'clock every day, I am probably pretty close to that, going to be enjoying a meal. So I'm gonna kind of break that right there. And so it's gonna be kind of like, what am I getting done before breakfast? Is kind of that section. And then obviously dinner is a more natural break. I need to kind of figure out a time in there. So this is like your first meal of the day, and then like, am I having another meal? Am I having another snack? Regardless, it would just be a nice break in my day. I'm scared to draw that line. I don't know what time that is, but let me see. I feel like around 2.30. So I'm going to do this, yikes, and we'll kind of see how that goes. Um, this is again, it can be fluid and I can schedule something in and around this, but I am going to just try this this week and that, see if that visual line right there kind of helps me block that time. Like what projects am I working on before? that meal, which ones am I working on, maybe after or during, and like I said, this is going to be more heavily planned for me initially on my phone because it's flexible and there's no scratching anything out, no white, no white out needed. I love how faint this color is. This one is the 850, so that if I don't really end up loving it or if I end up planning things in the middle of all that, it's okay, it's not garish and like super strong. So this is Julie's way of like tiptoeing into some time blocking. For example, on Monday, and I put this in my own personal <laughs> iCalendar calendar so that my family is not getting an update every time I switch something, because normally we share, but it's kind of like, here's when I break my fast. So then after that, I do, I know every week I need to kind of do some phone calls and emails, catch up on that. Um, preview app, that's where I like, I do like that app to preview some of my Instagram photos and to write captions and kind of just get a feel for like what do I want to share this week. Meal number two is that like kind of either that's a snack or that's an actual probably a smoothie is generally what I end up having for that one. And then per the planner spot she kind of had an Instagram check-in after that. Then um, once or not, I don't have this every day, but like an hour to kind of spend some time content planning. I have another, I'm using my Wonderland 222 notebook for that so that I can script out videos, share things, give a little bit more thought, oops, into what I want to do. Every day, it would be nice. Like I got into the habit here, it's still a little bit warm at four o'clock, kind of in the 80s. It's not an ideal, it's probably like one of the hotter times of day, but as the weather cools off, I would like to really incorporate that afternoon walk. It means like I'm closing the shop. I'm no longer doing anything you know, office business related. And then we're coming home and having dinner, probably between the walk, after the walk, it would be dinner prep. And then planning and self-care. This would be a time for me to think about like how did the day go, catch up on some tracking, think about the next day and plan for that, as well as like self-care, just like washing my face and putting my lotion on my feet. <laughs> that kind of gives you an idea of kind of what I'm talking about. I'm putting it in here, very structured. So if you look at the week, I think, which view is it that you can see? Um, you could see like all that pink is like kind of stuff that I would want to get done. The green are like appointments and things that I'm sharing with my other family. 
Ooh, see, look at that. Tuesday. I had not looked at this. I need to go get my license on Tuesday at 11.30. I am going to write that in here because I will probably hold myself accountable more likely if I do that. And I hope it doesn't take longer than this. If it does, Lord help me. Okay, that's it. It's official, you guys. See, you know, when you lay that sticker down, you know. I think I'm going to actually just use my little car icon. So I just take this little circle, stamp it there on the car, boom, and it's just kind of cute. Brings it a little bit of life. Anything else that I missed? Goodness, now I'm like, I need to look at the other view. Apparently that was a better view. Okay, so filming, I have that kind of dermatologist main care. Okay. So you'll see up for grabs. I think I'll be filming this week um, about my sticker organization, how I, I kind of showed you glimpses, but I'm going to walk through each and every sheet and hopefully that'll be something that you're interested in. Having said that, please let me know if you guys have any questions about what I'm doing or anything else that you would like me to cover in future videos. I have some ideas and I have some scripts written out, but let me know if there's anything that you would like to see. But other than that, that is just a generic how I walk into Monday in my planner. So this is, this is how it looks and definitely will end up looking more like that when it's done. So that's just kind of how we start is a little bit blank and airy. So, all right, wish me luck on my block planning this week and it's definitely a work in progress, something that I hope I'm better at in the year to come, but we'll see how it goes. All right, thanks for joining me, you guys. Until next time. Totally forgot, it's so important, but I do like to come through and highlight these. And later on, I will come through and highlight my workouts, but that's not until I accomplish them. So these ones I can go ahead and do ahead, and I'm going to do it in this, ooh, is that enough? Yeah. I'll do it in this 990 color. It's really light, but overall it will give it a little bit of pop there. Oh, you guys can probably hardly see that, but that's the one thing I forgot to do. Okay, now I'm ready to start my week. I like to have, you know, to figure out where I need to put in space or wh where I need to, gosh, I can't talk.